Ah, dinky do my heart is. Is just me, Scotty McClue, the World Stop broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet. Happy Christmas to you and a very Merry Christmas to you. And I send you love and blessings for Christmas Day, the day of Christ's birth, the anniversary of 2,000 years ago, two millennia ago. Lovely to be with you. I just thought I'd pop up around midday, of course, to say hi. I hope you're having a lovely day. I had a look at the telly and there wasn't much I wanted to see, and I thought maybe the rest of the nation feel the same, so I'll just pop up and say hi. Gordon Robertson, a very good morning to you, and Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Merry Christmas. Excellent stuff. And uh, we do tell everybody that we're on, of course, and we'll have a few minutes of chit-chat on Christmas Day. And why not, I say? I think after everything we've been through this year, still more to come. The Brexit thing looks inevitable, so I think we'll have to just leave that and go with the flow just now and hopefully rejoin the EU at a later date when we come to our senses. So uh, that's that's for the future, of course. But uh, I did say to you that Brexit will cause economic annihilation and, uh, of course, the... Um, fragmentation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So a lot of people are very dischuffed about that. Anyway, that's not for Christmas Day because this is a day of love and this is a day of peace and this is a day for families and this is a day of chat. So I just thought I'd pop up and say hi. Now, who have we got here? Um, Merry Christmas, says Billy Gillen. Hello, Billy. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Anto says, Happy Christmas to you and to you, Anto. Gordon Robertson, I haven't even bothered to turn on the TV yet. Well, Gordon, I wouldn't be in a rush, to be absolutely honest with you. I think that's a little luxury that you might deny yourself for a little bit longer. And uh, I'd be very surprised if you feel there's anything that you particularly missed from that uh, that experience. So there we are. And uh, who have we got here? Gordon Roddick, the wonderful Gordon Roddick who I worked very closely with at Scottish Television. That's a little while back, and I was just thinking about that, Gordon. And sadly, we lost one of our lovely colleagues uh, yesterday. I um, got news of his passing, so there you are. Um, Marie Fielding, dinky-doo, Merry Christmas, hoping for a Brexit Christmas dinner. No Brussels. <laughs> oh, dear. There you are. Get as many Brussels as you can, Darren, uh, because we need to rejoin ASAP. Uh, Merry Christmas, Edward McAleer. Merry Christmas, Scotty. Are you having a wee dram? Looking forward to today. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, I think I, I've sort of got the Santa gear on. I might get a bit of work. <laughs> Did you do, Scotty, my man? Can I get a shout out to all the Falkirk lads past or present? Darren Baird, you can indeed. Yes, I'd rather meddle with the deal than the burn of Falkirk. Absolutely, touch in, touch all. There we go. Merry Christmas, Dinky Doo Scotty. And the wonderful Derek Walker. Hello, Derek. Dinky Doo to you. Alan Hall, Merry Christmas to Tony Mac and Rosie too. Absolutely. Beth, Beth. Merry Christmas to you, Beth Daras. Um, so there you are. I'll put the TV on at 3 p.m. Always like to see Her Majesty. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. There's that phone going. Uh, David Murray's watching. Thank you, David. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Of course, Scott McClue, quick Christmas pop-up. Merry Christmas, Scotty. I hope you're having a good one, says Stephen Gambo. Absolutely, Stephen. Lovely, lovely stuff. Merry Christmas, Gordon Roddick, says Derek Walker. There you go, Gordon. We're a wee network here. Jim Stephen Gibbs watching. Hello, Jim Stephen Gibb. And Dinky do a big wave from Scotty McClure. Fantastic. There's one or two old, um, uh, older uh, things on the YouTube channel, guys. I'll be popping up on the YouTube channel. Get yourselves onto that Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. as uh, It's uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClure 1. That's the one you're looking out for, Scotty McClure 1. 
<coughs> Merry Christmas, my friend. Thank you, Darren Bird. Not at all. A great privilege and a pleasure to say Merry Christmas to you. Andrew Clark's watching. Thank you, Andrew. Merry Xmas, sir. Jim Stephen Gibb. Merry Christmas, Scotty. John Marshall. Marvellous, John. Lovely to hear from you. And I hope you're having a good day. And uh, I hope our younger people will be Skyping their grandparents. And uh, I hope that uh, a lot of our older people will be Skyping their grandchildren and having a good old chat. We must do the best we can, guys. Make the best of all this thing. I had wonderful plans for Christmas. And then a couple of days ago, right up the chute with that. So there you go. Um, anyway, I've loaded myself up with the arrow grey. Gordon Robertson, touch in, touch on, do the Falkirk folk no get lifted by the police for touching everyone? No, no, you touch one of the Falkirk people, then you've touched them all. So there you are, and the police will know that, Gordon. Uh, 61 Monday, so there we are. Derek Walker, you are not. Clyde the Labrador is 100 today in dog years. So there we are. Uh, Phil Doherty, thank you do. Merry Christmas. Absolutely lovely to have you with us. And you'll all be wanting to see the Queen at three o'clock sharp. Her Majesty the Queen, our Head of State. So there we are. Queen of Scotland. Fantastic. Everybody loves to see the Queen. Um, I, uh, it does give me a wry smile when uh, I get these critics who know nothing about the Queen's life or how the state works or anything like that. And it does give me a wry smile when they say that, well, I wouldn't watch the Queen, I'll tell you. And then you find that the audience was 25 million. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, so there you are, Robert Rose, Dinky Doo. Merry Christmas, Scotty. All the best to you and yours. And Dinky Doo. Fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, if the Queen was not the Queen, I know that commercial television would certainly be asking her if she wouldn't mind popping up for a few minutes on Christmas Day as part of their schedule, the highlight of the year, the way telly's going these days, my goodness me. Gordon Robertson tells me that Oliver is seven months old tomorrow. What age will he be in dog years? Well, uh, they say that one year in human years is seven years in dog years. So he'll be just over three and a half. Is that right? <laughs> How's my maths doing, Gordon? So there we are. He'll, he'll be coming up four. Uh, Kareem Zachariah. Scotty, how are we today? Merry Christmas, Kareem. Fantastic. Clyde is 100 today. So we're loving that. Susan Copeland Power, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Kareem Zachariah, one of our great viewers and uh, participants, I would say. I mean, even more than a viewer. When you're on the radio, son, ah, now, Jim Stephen Gibb, let me make everyone's Christmas. Scotty McClue will be back on the radio with the full phone in. All the phones available. Now, this is massive. This will probably put a lot of noses out of joint. But I'm going on with the full phone in on the radio, live. You should be able to get it on all sorts of things. Uh, you should be able to get it on, uh, well, a lot of people will get it on FM. A lot of people will get it on DAB. A lot of people will get it on uh, the internet. A lot of people will get it on their apps. But it's probably the only proper talk show uh, in the in in the world, I would say. I mean, I think we can go that far. You know, a proper talk show, and by proper talk show, I mean people talking talk radio at its finest. So that's coming up in a few weeks' time. Happy Christmas from Jude and I. Says Rod, hard to stay. Rod, a wonderful man. Um, and uh, he was my first wizard of the big switchboard. And we used to have terrific banter. And when I was deep in conversation with him, he would say in my ear, we've got a lot of calls. Can we get through them any quicker? And I would say, no. 
<laughs> to remember that, Rod. Great fun, great laughter, and of course, we had a lot of mutual friends. We have a lot of mutual friends. Colin Mingus is watching. Thank you, do Colin. Danny McNeil's watching, and uh, no relation to the late Stuart Mingus. No. Karim Zachariah, Scotty McClure, I'm so excited about you coming back to the radio. If you say, Alexa, play the Queen's speech, it will for three o'clock this afternoon. And after Her Majesty is finished, if you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure on YouTube, then she'll say, getting that for you now. Uh, can you tell us which radio station or which area, which frequency? Not yet, Gordon, because there's still an element of commercial sensitivity. But as soon as I can, it will be plastered all over the world. So there you are, fantastic. Merry Christmas from my family to everyone from Alabama and USA. God bless. Denise D. Nelson, we send love to Alabama. So there we are. I actually came from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. So there we are. Silvano Ventesi is watching. Silvano, see, si. excellent, lovely to have you with us. Buongiorno, buongiorno. And uh, Happy Noel. Uh, Andrew is there, wait till we see. Oh, we've got everybody here, my goodness me, that's amazing. Right, hang on a second. Just have to get you back there. Uh, now then, um, and we've got the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Gordon and I go back uh, as colleagues for 36 years, I think it is. 35 years, something like that. Isn't that incredible? Uh, and we're both spring chickens. Spring chickens, I say. Here we are. Always remember, if you're a performer and you happen to be proficient at what you do, and I would like to think that Scotty McClue is proficient as the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man, of course. And I would like to think that there's a proficiency there. People will start to attack you in a passive, aggressive way, particularly in social media, because they're jealous, you see. They think that you might be getting one over them because you're the broadcaster, which, of course, is not the case at all. But it's very, very interesting, all this nonsense that comes out of the woodwork. So people like to wee dig. So I have put up now, uh, I'm just going into my 29th year of the Scotty McClue Nightline, Scotty McClue Megaphone Ends. And uh, what's funny about that is that people were saying after, oh, I think about six months when we're absolutely huge, you know, maybe quarter of a million people listening to you every half hour. And um, people say, I, that's kind of, is that not kind of old hat now, you know? Uh, are we not moving away from that? <laughs> and of course the answer is, it's absolutely timeless. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Five meals today, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea, and supper. Derek Walker, a fairly normal day for you, is it not? Uh, Scotty, what did Santa get? Your happy birthday to your lovely dog. My dog sadly sliced her tendon and is recovering. Karim, I hope that wasn't glass that somebody had carelessly discarded out walking. I remember Lord Reith, my great big Labrador, who you can see behind there. There he is in the picture. Can you see him? In the middle picture there. That was Lord Reith's graduation. And uh, I turned up just to support him. And uh, wonderful stuff. I got beautiful presents. Uh, I really did. And I got a lovely, lovely um, cardigan. And I got a lovely book on Glasgow. Uh, which I'm I'm very big on, fantastic. So I'm pretty chuffed. Uh, you know, these, these are beautiful things. And even the fact that at my stage in the game, people bother giving you presents, you know. David Gardner's watching. Thank you, dear David. Thank you very much indeed. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Merry Christmas to everybody. It's Scotty McClure, uh, the one-stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. 
Mr. Facebooker, par excellence. There we are, Johnny Cash Phillips. Whatever happened to the Bunny Man from way back? The Bunny Man, you've got me there. It's sure that's not the Funny Man you mean, Johnny. Dave Anderson, dink you do. Lovely to have you with us. A very warm welcome. The wonderful Tracy Cunningham, dink you do to you. Mwah! One of my wonderful colleagues in radio, a very, very talented lady, I can tell you. There we are, Kareem. Yes, Scotty. Glass cut in half, over £3,000 to fix it at the vet hospital. She's recovering well, and thank God for dog insurance. Scotty, I'd send you a Christmas card. So here it is virtually. I thank you, Kareem. Thank you for that. Richie McCusker, dinky do. Is it your big Alsatian dog or your big Doberman dog? So there we are. Which one? Uh, the Alsatian or the Doberman? Have I got them right, Kareem? Richie McCusker's watching. Dinky do, Richie. Hi, Kareem. I hope you're having a nice Christmas day with your dog. Sorry to hear about the tendon. Did you get your dog's Christmas presents when a tendon? I mean, that's huge, you know. It'd be wonderful if that. Um, if she makes a good recovery. Alex Martin's watching. Jeff Zizinski, dinky do. Always lovely to have you with us and a very, very Merry Christmas to you, I say. Uh, Beryl, hi, Scotty. Glaswegian now living in Barnsley. Remember you used to say Barnsley women had dropped bums? Well, they did. I mean, they would have made good burglars because their bums would have wiped out any footprints, you know? But the Barnsley ladies didn't seem to agree with me. And I think uh, we had a big discussion in Chronicle, in Chronicle Eye. Uh, Neil Mills, Dinky, do lovely to have you with us. I haven't shared or told anybody we're actually on, so nobody will know. Shall we, uh, shall we share? Let's share and let them know. There we are. Excellent stuff. Sharing, sharing, sharing. Share, share, share. Right, that's gone. Uh, now, I also sent you the true meaning of Christmas. So you'll see that. And you can follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClure. Dan and Jackson, Dinky Doo, Gordon Quick is watching. Merry Christmas, Scotty, and everyone else from Neil Mills. Thank you, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. So there we are. So, Bell, I hope you're loving Barnsley, and you send my love to Barnsley, love. That's what it's all about. Aye, the nose. <laughs> and <laughs> fantastic. I do miss Yorkshire. Um, you know, I wish there was more than one of me. Uh, I mean, nobody else does, but I wish there was more than one of me and I could live in Yorkshire and in Scotland and different parts of Scotland, of course. Um, so many lovely parts of Scotland and lovely, lovely parts of Yorkshire. Aye, that's it. And, um, you know, Sheffield. Loved my Sheffield, really did. Uh, hi, Scott. It was my Doberman, the cast on her leg. The iron at the top cut her leg, and the cut became rotten flesh that had to be removed, but also she recovered well. Aren't they wonderful? Merry Christmas. So there we are. Loving your beard, Santa Scotty. Do you like it? Do you think I'm rocking the old beard? Um, somebody said it takes years off me. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. So there we are. Now... Um, what else is happening? We'll send this round. I'll tell you where I'll share this with. Um, share it to the story. Uh, but people will probably be having a light lunch now. Let me know what you're all up to. Alistair King, Merry Christmas, Scotty. Happy birthday, Jesus. Dinky do. Absolutely. The meaning of Christmas. You'll see it on TikTok. Have a look at it. It's only a few seconds. And I think people love Scotty McClure on TikTok. Uh, because it's only a few seconds. <laughs> but uh, wait till we get back on the radio. That's happening very soon, guys. So spread the word that Scotty McClure is coming back. But I'll give you all the details as and when I can. So there we are. You know, you know, I'm very good at keeping a secret. One of the reasons my uh, career has been so successful is because I say to people, look, if you tell me something and say you don't want to hear it back, then you won't. 
But if you want something round the world, I can have it round the world by lunchtime. You know, so that's that. And people trust me with uh, with chat and with information uh, and, and what have you. And, of course, you have to have several sources. You check your sources. You let them know. My pet, pet hate at Christmas time is people who write Xmas instead of Christmas. Right. Neil Mills has speak. Nobody write Xmas, please. Otherwise, we will get in trouble. <laughs> so there we go. More options. Whoa. Sharing to groups now, are we? Right. I shall just let these people know what is happening, that we are live now. There it goes. They can see it for themselves. You know, it's not, uh, it's not rocket science. As I said in my interview with NASA, you know, they said, Scotty, what do you think the job is about? I said, well, it's not rocket science, is it? There we are. That was just a merry jeep, by the way, in case anybody starts hiring me for the space program. Scotty, your thoughts are just now in the new Brexit deal. Or shall we keep the discussions today festive? No, Kareem, we can have a brief discussion on the Brexit deal. Whatever deal they've come to leaves the UK worse off than it was as a member of the EU. So that's the first standard thing. The other thing I would like to bring your attention to, Karim, is the deal really only covers about 20% of the UK because we're a service nation full of service industries. Uh, we're 80% service industries, including, uh, you know, the financial services industry. And uh, none of that's been covered in this Brexit deal, as far as I know, AFIK. Um, so that's not so good. So it's a bit of a leaving in name only, but we've managed to beggar ourselves with no advantages. We've come out of the single market, we've lost free movement, we've lost the customs union, and gained nothing, absolutely nothing. And our sovereignty uh, has now been surrendered to a handful of hooray Henrys who are working everybody from the back. Yeah, and unless you're a billionaire, there are no advantages in Brexit whatsoever. So I would like to think that the billionaires who have managed to avoid EU scrutiny of their financial affairs because they managed to get out of the EU in time, I would like to think that they will want to thank um, the uh, UK and perhaps break into their trillion trillionaire accounts and pay the £200 billion that Brexit has cost us for absolutely no gain whatsoever. So there you are. So sorry just to be so upfront, but you'll always get the truth from Scotty McClue. We have to run with the Brexit thing now. There's nothing that anyone, including my good self, can do about it. So there you are. So we'll need to just run with it and hope that we can uh, come to some compromise. But it will beggar the UK because we'll virtually bust when we beg to join. You know, so there are no advantages. There's been terrific advantage in being part of the single market over the last 50 years of peace and prosperity. And in fact, it's it's brought peace and prosperity for 70 years because two things I have to tell you about. One, Winston Churchill's greatest wish was for a United States of Europe with a united European army uh, with a single commander. And that was him in 1946. He did a wee vault fast as um, politicians do. We can see that happening on a daily basis virtually. So he did a wee vault fast later in the day and said, yes, we want to be with it, but not of it. But that was a vault fast from his 1946 stance and his 1948 speech from, from Holland. Um, so that's one. The other thing is that Prince Albert, the Queen's great 
great-grandfather, yes, wanted a United States of Europe, but under crowned heads. So there, and had he lived longer, marvellous man, Albert, he may well have done that, did a terrific amount for this country. The wonderful Derek McIntyre, perhaps one of our finest, well, definitely one of our finest broadcasters, finest breakfast DJ you will come across on the radio, Nation Radio. Every morning, Derek McIntyre. Merry Christmas, Mr. McClue. Have a fabulous day. Great to see you on Christmas Day. A wonderful gift. Great to see your comment, Derek McIntyre. I feel even more humble than usual. And it's a wonderful gift from you. Lovely to know that you are well and about and delivering to the nation these fabulous breakfast broadcasts. You keep that up, sir. Now, Happy Christmas, Scotty, was Paul McCartney's song from the 80s, The Pipes of Peace, based on a true story about World War I. I wouldn't be surprised. Paul McCartney is a wonderful, wonderful man, as well as being an excellent first-class musician. And, um, you know, his stories like, Mother Mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom, let it be. I believe his mother had died, I think, of, was it breast cancer? And she came to him in a dream. And uh, lovely, lovely man, Paul McCartney. So there you are. And, of course, stayed for a long time in, in, in Kintyre, uh, just outside Campbelltown, and brought the children up there. OMG, James O'Brien's dressed up as Scotty McClue for Christmas. A dead ringer, says Gordon Robertson. Ah, you're big on your talk radio. I'm a huge James O'Brien fan, of course. I think he is terrific. Uh, Scotty, have you seen the virtual queen that Channel 4 will show show? And it's regarding fake false news. A lot of people have been offended. Well, <clears throat> I think... I don't like people sending up Her Majesty the Queen, but I think when you are one of the world's, perhaps the world's most leading figure now, then there's bound to be an element of satire creeps in. I haven't seen the new spitting image yet because I've been working. Uh, I've been maxed, but uh, I used to love spitting image in the old days. Um, you know, and I have never, ever been offended by people taking a satirical view of Scotty McClue. And my advice to people, I used to have this discussion about the phone-ins. Nobody has the right not to be offended, you see? And you can never give offense. You can only take it. So if you're offended, that says everything about you more than what is the subject of that offence, or the object of that offence, you see? And also, people used to complain about Scotty McClure's phoning. You're going to get complainants if you've got huge audiences. And people used to complain about the Scotty McClure phone-ins. But I would say, why do you listen? Why do you listen? Because you don't have to. Listening to the radio is a choice, you know. And if somebody's listening to moan or complain, then that says a lot about them. Why would you listen to something you didn't like? It's like people that go, I don't care. I don't care. They care passionately. Otherwise, they wouldn't say it. They just wouldn't care, you know. It's that kind of thing. It's like... When I trained as an actor, we used to have discussions about listening. And if you're on stage listening, do you listen like this? Do you listen like that? You see people, you know? But, pardon me, in real life, you don't. You just listen. You just, you just listen. You know, that sort of thing. Merry Christmas from the Wood family in Shetland. Peter Wood, dinky do. Peter, we have loved your accordion playing. Absolutely outstanding. So there you are. In fact, I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got the wee box here, Peter. 
You see, so love to you. One of my favourites. I'm a great fan of uh, of Ali Bain, of course, of uh, Willie Hunter and uh, Violet. You know, fantastic stuff when she she uh, accompanied them and uh, Peary Willie and all these great Shetland characters, including your good self. And um, I'm a big fan of all that, you know, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Because my father was uh, quite a, a, a famous Scottish fiddle player, you know, from that point of view. Um, and I've got the wee box here, and I'd just love to show you that. Do you like that? My wee button key. Um, we'll maybe manage to give you just something. I don't know to, to, to say hi on it. You know, so there you are. So the wee box is there, Peter. So, and, and one of my favourites is Nicola Benedetti and Kirsten Harvey playing Leaving Lyric Harbour. Oh! Tears running down my cheeks, you know, what do I do that for? Only, um, of course, the other one that really moves me, if you ever get the chance to look at YouTube, Andre Roux, Nearer My God to Thee. Oh, so there we are. Um, now, what have I got here? <laughs> Peter, there's a wee, just a wee tribute to you, but nothing like the fantastic playing that you do for us. And thank you. Thank you very much. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. Uh, we will come back again for sure. I thank you, Peter Wood. How wonderful are you? Now, it's just about time I pushed off and let you all get on with your wonderful Christmas Day. Many, many blessings to you. And I say thank you. If I may, if you will indulge me for a second, requiescat in pace to Donald John MacDonald, the television broadcaster and journalist who has sadly passed away. So there you are. Um, I used to, um, well, I worked with him very closely in 1984-85 at Grampian Television in Aberdeen. And he was always a wonderful man, a very, very social man, um, great to uh, to go out with for a few refreshments, and uh, just an absolute delightful man, a tremendous intellect, a terrific brain from South Uist. And um, I also um, knew of other members of his dear, lovely family, and I send them love and blessings and deep condolences. Um, a wonderful man, but we're blessed to have known him. So there we are. So I shall just say to my lovely Donald John MacDonald, Aichira, Maha. There we are. Uh, Scotty, what Christmas dinner surprise will you be giving the dog for a treat? Well, you see, uh, the thing is, he's a um, hundred today. So I think maybe uh, a special chewy, uh, that really gets the tail going. See, what he does, Kareem, he black dog mails me. So I take him for a walk, and uh, I bring him back, and then he pesters me for his lead, and he takes himself home with the lead in his mouth. And he lies down outside until I go and get the biscuits. Or he'll come in with me if I promise him. I said, go on, take it and get your biscuits. Oh, okay then. 
and then he will take the lead, pick it up and go in and get his biscuits. So the tale goes a lot. David Barry, Merry Christmas from Pitlochry. I send love to everybody in Pitlochry. My old stamping ground, Pitlochry Theatre. Uh, again, we're talking back a little bit. We're 40 years this year since I became the assistant manager at Pitlochry Theatre in the days of uh, Dr. Kenneth Ireland. Fantastic. The days of Dr. Kenneth Ireland. Marvellous stuff. He'd been there since 1948 and started it with the late John Stewart, whose house was Nockendarroch. Nockendarroch House, now a wonderful, beautiful hotel. And um, Pitlochry Theatre started in the front garden of Nockendarroch House and then became the Pitlochry Ice Rink. Uh, up on, is it uh, Oakfield or Lower Oakfield? So there we are in the tune. Fantastic. Part of the world I love very much and a lot of my heart is still in Pitlochry. I can tell you. So there we are. What else have we got, guys? We will come back again. Spot on, says Peter. John Patters is watching. So there we are. Martin Monaghan. Queen Elizabeth, just like Queen Victoria, loves Scotland more than any other country. That's why we need to keep the 1603 Union of the Crowns, but get rid of the financial 1707 Union, which was very badly put together. And do you know, Martin, you will do, that I worked out that Scotland was actually sold for about £1,500 in bribes. And I think we should buy it back for a couple of K without seeing it. So there you are. And give them a wee profit. And that's that. Although they've had a lot of profit already from Scotland. Billions and billions of profit. You know, we send, I think we send around 70, 75 billion every year to Westminster as a cash cow just to keep the tills ringing in London. So there you are. That's what happens. But that may well all change with Brexit. So there you are, because nobody could ever justify Brexit unless it's to avoid having the EU poking their nose into your financial affairs. So there we are. That's what's happening. Right. It's time I was not here, as they say. From me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you, lots of love, many blessings. I hope you'll all be coming on the new radio phone-in when it starts in a few weeks' time. And uh, have a wonderful Christmas Day. Love to every single one of you, as I say. And uh, I hope, if you are on your own, that we've been good company for half an hour. Um, I would like to think that um, you'll be able to FaceTime the children and the grandchildren. That they can FaceTime you and all that sort of thing will be happening. So until then, from me, Scotty McClure, a very Merry Christmas. And to every single one of you, dinky-doo.